Hi, I'm Jesse. I go by No Whacking online in Pokemon Bridge. Uh, I'm a co writer and I also um, voice Misty, Officer Jenny, Nurse Joy, Todd, a bunch of characters. Go. Oh, you're not going to like Okay. All right. My name is Jerry, or I go by the XJerry64X. I know the X's make it pretty awesome. It makes um, it sexy. Yeah, very Actually, sexy. at this con specifically, your name is XJerry64X. Yeah, X, Whenever we get X anything, our, like, our contracts, our badges, Mike and I have our names, and Jerry's just XJerry64X. And no one tell anyone. I want it to always be that way. <laughs> I'm just going to change it legally to XJerry64X. You might as well at this yeah, point. I know, right? We were, we were discussing this yesterday, seriously. Yeah, and we, we said that much. when you have a kid, you should you should name them uh, XJerry64X. And then they'll be XJerry64X Jr. Yeah. Alternatively, X Junior 64. No, 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 no. <laughs> each, each and every one of my offspring would have an X added on. So my great, great, great grandchildren will have X, 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 Jerry 64. X, 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 X. Just carry on the tradition. You have to have like 5,000 children. 5,000. Anyways, I'm Mike. He didn't finish. Who's Jerry? I don't know. He has a lot of X's. That'd be a bad thing. Or a good thing. I don't know. All right, I um, I co-write with these guys at Pokemon Bridge. Uh, I do voices such as uh, Brock from Pokemon Bridge, the, the narrator, uh, uh, Professor Oak, uh, Tracy, and a whole bunch of other Pokemans and other characters. Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemans. Uh, Pokemans. Actually, poked men. Poked men. Is, is the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the real Japanese here. All right. But yeah. Anyways, I'm Mike. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, hi. Hi. I'm a Pokemon Goaholic. <laughs> uh, I started a year ago, and, and I stopped, and then I fell off the wagon. <laughs> um, so I, I, uh, He's obviously mystic. If you've been at either of the opening ceremonies, he sure is probably proclaimed it. So uh, I, I co-write co Pokemon Bridge with these two. I edit it. I voice Ash, Pikachu, James, Meowth. And assorted others. Um, assorted others. Uh, I'm going to be voicing a, uh, a, a, a uh, the main character of the day in the next episode, and so I voiced like half the script, and it was really <laughs> tough on my throat, but I managed to do it. I was very proud of you. You did a good job. Yeah. Like you've never had a role with that many lines in an episode, so I was like, is he going to? You mean a apart break? from Ash Ketchum? No, I mean that's like you can take breaks and like it's goofy, but this was like an actual man voice, you yes, know, with was. the you know. With spoilers. He voices a man. That's a, a spoiler. Um, you know what for Pokemon Bridge it is? <laughs> they can voice girls. I hope nobody is offended, but I will be playing Pokemon Go while... while I completely playing. understand. And we have your full attention. divided attention, Michael. My, my fully divided attention. We enable him. So, uh, I, I'm curious now, who here has not seen Pokemon Bridge at all in any capacity? Okay. All cool. right. That usually, that's usually roughly what happened about half the panel. And that's okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's all right. We don't. We're not going to be showing any to you today, unfortunately. Fortunately, actually. Um, but uh, we we can talk about Pokemon and Pokemon Bridge here. It's all good. You don't have to know about our show to talk about it with us, or to talk about Pokemon in general. No, us. it's not. Yeah, <laughs> it's awful. Don't don't Google it. Um, so uh, this is basically just going to be a Q and A. If anybody has any questions or whatever, we do not have an episode to show you guys, unfortunately. But like I said, we are working on it. I I just. What, a week ago, did the, did, we just finished voicing uh, the new episode. So it is being worked on, finally. Uh, and uh, as well as, I guess, the movie is kind of being worked on slowly. But we are, we are working on the first Pokemon Breach movie, so that'll be cool. We started roughly brainstorming about a future movie, not even the first movie. And we're like, we need to focus on the first one. <laughs> All scatterbrain, yeah. What did that mean? Yeah. No, I thought it would be hilarious if, like... We start talking about the movie. We're like, the movie's coming out, guys, and everyone's been psyched for years because we teased it a few years ago. And then it comes out. It's a, diff a different movie. <laughs> like it completely. <laughs> yeah, didn't, didn't you and I? We were we were playing Pokemon Go at very late night uh, the other night, and we just came up with ideas for the second movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was fun. We have to tell you about those, by the way. You, you don't know about this. You were sleeping. Even I know the loop here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what adults. As adults, I feel like I, I just graduated college, and I feel like I have too much freedom. Like we went out and like. Play Pokemon Go until 6 a.m. the other day. Like that's not a normal thing, but we just did it. Cause no one can stop me, mom. <laughs> yeah, we can open up to questions. If anybody has any questions, feel free to raise your hand, and we'll uh, we will attempt to answer them. Kind of attempt.
Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. I don't want to pick. Gary, you pick. You don't want to pick. I, I, don't I, know, I, I don't hate pick. designing. Like, who's uh, my favorite audience uh, member? You know? God. <laughs> there, there we go. There it is. Uh, well, Sun and Moon's been out for almost a year now. Uh, what are your favorite uh, Gen 7 Pokemon? I haven't played it. <laughs> it's the first time I actually have not played any of the generation. This is the first time ever. I just didn't need to. Well, I actually have been working for Team Four Star Gaming. Uh, I've been editing for them, and I watched their playthrough of it because it was my job. And so I, I don't remember any of it because it was that good. And um, so I, I can't really answer that. I remember that there's a salamander. I remember rip off Charmander. Um, I don't. I don't. And I remember that there are really crappy ultra beasts. And I remember, of course, the owl. Yes. You just started a roast, bro. Uh, that's, that's for our Gen One Defense Squad panel later tonight. Yes. Gen One Defense. Um, yes. If you disagree with any of my opinions. Hold that enthusiasm for later tonight. 10, 10 p.m. O'clock. <laughs> 10 o'clock in panel two. We will debate you all night long. Yeah. A can of roast. Um, is, this, is this the one, the Alola one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Why? The owl's cute. The owl's so cute. What about the century that you like so much? Ah, Alolan Sanctuary. Ice Sanctuary. I love Alolan. Alolan Sanctuary and Alolan Vulpix are super cute. Yeah. I loved those. Um, I'm trying to remember. The three starters, there was an owl, there was a, a clown, and there was a... Cat. Was it a cat? A cat. Was it? A cat. You're right! Because everyone was like, don't stand on your hind legs, you're going to be a fighter, or whatever. <laughs> then it did. I love the cat, too. And yeah. not, no offense to the clown. I just, you know, I, just, I, didn't, I didn't connect. But I think it was the um, uh, TFS's playthrough of it. I just had, I'm editing a best of um, and a death compilation right now for them. And just them interacting with the owl for the first time was super cute because they were like freaking out the whole time. They were like, "Hey, that's our friend now!" Like that kind of <laughs> that kind of got me into it. Jeez, it was okay. Yeah. Right. For some reason, I'm not a fan of like the third evolution of it. For some reason. The owl. The owl. It becomes like a it becomes like an emo teenager and then like. It's not a phase, okay? Okay, Bob. Did you want that? What about you, Jared? Did you answer? Um, cat. Why not? The cat. I love how we the cat. names of the Pokemon now. The cat, the owl, the Oh, Meowth. Alolan Meowth. Yeah. 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 Okay, for real, Alolan Garfield. Persian is so oh, funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Alolan Persian. I wanted this to squeeze his little cheeks. It, it ate too many berries or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, is there any other questions? Anyone? Oh, I see a hand. So, you think is. Yep. <laughs> so uh, what what two um, Pokemon would you mix together to make uh, make a what? Like a hybrid? Um, a messed up Pokemon. <laughs> what, what kind of fucked up Pokemon would you make? <laughs> <laughs> You're Brock, so you would be the one to answer that. <laughs> What's your wildest desire? <laughs> Let's see, uh... Okay, now, now I'm full Brock now. Uh, okay, uh, I would... Guess I would breed a... A ditto with Satan. That's beautiful. <laughs> I like kind of where you're going with that. I'm going to slightly change that. Ditto with Ultra Beasts, because I think the Ultra Beasts are kind of messed up on their own, so just making another one is just kind of stupid. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell? I'm sure I've talked about this, like, but now I can't remember any of the ones that I was thinking of. Um, I, I, maybe like Alolan Persian and Alolan Sandshrew, because I think that'd be a very round Pokemon. <laughs> I think that's, that's a good. well-rounded Pokemon, actually. The, the rounder the Pokemon, the cuter it is. Like, that's just math. <laughs> I, guess, I guess for a more real answer, we could, um, I would definitely like to mix um, Vanillite with Garbodor. Oh. 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 Don't hurt him, Michael, don't hurt him. I can smell it from you just, like, suggesting it. Oh, wow. That's like Pony Island garbage. Yeah. <laughs> alternatively, alternatively, we could mix vanilla with Grimer. We could you know, there's a bunch of different colors. Just very stupid. <laughs> vanilla with.